Okay, so here we go. We've got the parts that I need to put this thing back together. Um, yeah, you can see the uh, difference here in this synchronizer versus that synchronizer, other than the gears aren't chewed all to hell. Um, it should just start to go back together pretty easy as long as I can as long as I as long as I put them in the right spot. So uh, it all came in packaging. Uh, the difference that I see this this pump is I didn't order this pump. I ordered this pump kit, which is basically the whole entire pump. But I'm missing a few pieces, so I'm gonna have to use them off of that pump, or I'm just gonna take that pump there and put these parts into it. I'm not sure whether that'll work or not, but I'm gonna find out. Uh, basically, it's just a clip and a seal, but uh, other than that, I think I'm okay. Um, this guy here, you see that O-ring in there? This O-ring here? That goes inside there, which actually keeps this guy... Let's see if we can get it to go in. It keeps it from wobbling out of control. See that? And that is what was missing in the other... Uh, in the old one, I never knew that there was an O-ring that went in there. Apparently it had worn and rubbed away and that was the end of it. But it's in there now, so it should all be good. And I'm just going to take these pieces here and start putting them together. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the function, the function of this uh, synchronizer here. So you all know what, what the real deal was. As you can see on the old, the old one here, I'm going to pull the synchronizer away, and you can really see that the teeth are missing. So, what the deal is with this thing is, well, here, let's get it in the, yeah, it's in the right spot. Um, what happens is, this thing actually pushes on this part here, this guy here. So, when, see these little things here? So, this starts to move, you'll see those little things, they'll move, okay? But what this does is it actually puts the brakes on, it's basically a brake. It's a brake. And as that thing pushes on that, this part here, well here, I'll use the other one, this part here actually forces into a cone on the other side, causing this particular gear here that's spinning, it will actually slow it down and cause it, it's a brake. So it causes it to slow down enough that the teeth from this old one here, I'll, I'll use the old one as an example. The teeth here that are all busted and ground off, um, that allows those to, to engage into these ones here that are spinning. So you're going down a road and you're in say B range, you want to go up to C range, or if you're in C range going into D range, which is what this is, C and D. Um, it's going to pull up on that, it's going to engage the brake, it's going to slow it down to the point where it is going to uh, uh, it's going to slow it down until they're engaged and then now I don't know if I can do this with one hand or two but here we go oh, Jesus nope I can't do it but I'm gonna do it anyway because I got a little tripod here not a bipod but a tripod Mr. Pod as Mr. Peak would say but anyways this thing's spinning and then all of a sudden boom it slides up now, as you can see, that shifting collar is fully engaged into these gears. Now this gear here will turn, turn freely. And that there synchronizer, or brake, as you want to call it, is now away from that and it can turn freely. And this one here will turn on the second gang of gears which drives that pinion gear over there someplace because they intermesh into there. So. There it is. That's how that works. Now, again, when you're going to change again, and it's just so it doesn't grind the gears, because the gears you hear grinding when you pull this thing without pushing it on a clutch is not actually uh, these gears here, you know, which a lot of people think. It's actually these little guys here and this shifting collar, that high-pitched you hear when you're getting a little out of, out of control with your shifting. Well, that's this guy. So, and of course that's what happens when your synchros go bad. So anyways, I'm going to slide that back into its place and then I'm going to put the rest of these parts together like that guy there 
and then that bearing and then that clip and I have a bearing driver I'm going to drive that back on with because they're not pressed they actually just sit on there so a little bit of lubrication and we'll be in business so here we go you found it? no it's not 515 is it? no this is 515 I got it it's fine we're going to put it on there looks like our transformations getting put back together right Joseph? Yes. Okay. Oh. Everything turns. Well, at least it does when it's not in park. There. No, maybe we're in neutral. Why can't I turn it now? Maybe it's in gear. <laughs> no, nah, I'm in gear, I think. Park? No. No, it's not in park. Anyway. Locked up though. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so after fits of mental retardation, we got it straightened out. Everything works. The park pole here works. The uh, shifter linkage works. What'd you do? Have a race, Joe? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so everything's working. Cody's working on that piece of shit there. That's four-wheel drive unit. We'll have that all glued back together. And we're gonna, I'm gonna work on that part now. That's the pump. Here's a new piece. I don't need that, Timothy. Put it back. Here's the new pump. I said no. It doesn't say 515. Didn't you hear me? Anyways, here's this little woggle pump that I didn't get all my parts for. So I gotta cannibalize the old one to make it work new piece here um, and yes there is an o-ring inside there to make this ride really nice and smooth so when you push that in there it can't wobble and make that horrible sound so anyways there it is right yep right yep I don't even care what you have to say no. Right dead center of it. See the pin? <laughs> now we'll drive it out. Oh my lord. I love it when you find what you're looking for. I hope Tim found the toilet okay. <laughs> it's getting pretty small. So we're going to drive it out. All right. All right, Mr. Tim. Um, give me a hammer, I guess. And I think... Uh, where are you? Are you going to get the hammer? No, don't just get into the hammer. Let's see what we can come up with here. Here, I'll hold this like this. Okay. Joe's eyes get real big. Really, Dad? Can I try? Okay. I'm down, smash it. Out. Hmm. 
Well, steel is pretty friggin' hard. Got the next one, Timoteo. Let's put it on. Something in it. Alright. So what do you think, Jim? Works? Oh, confusing. Timothy, give that to me. I'll stop. Thank you. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna stick this sucker back on there. Hang on, figure out which one's going where. <sighs> yeah, that'd be the uh, that's the consensus here. Feeling you're supposed to pump that shit up. They are all different sizes too, aren't they? Yeah, your battery's almost dead. Shut it off. It's in the lining. Okay, I got three minutes left on the video here. <laughs> Anyways, here it is. We've got the uh, pump in. Oil pump is in and it turns just fine. I have the plate, all these little screws, everything is good to go. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to marry that thing back over here to this thing tomorrow with those blue bolts. Um, I'll put it right together there. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to marry those two pieces together and then I'm going to stick them back on that tractor. And hopefully, possibly tomorrow afternoon, if not tomorrow afternoon, I do have some hay to bale, but uh, if not tomorrow afternoon, it'll be Sunday afternoon. That tractor will be running. Okay, thank you for watching.